Hello again, and Hello. we're off to our f- final one in this selection, up on the coast. Yes, up near Port, Port Soy. Soy. Yep, Glen Glasser. That's it, so a Highland whiskey. Yep, and a distillery I know very little about. It's sort of been open-closed, open-closed. Yeah, open it's closed. one of these less less well-known, less romantic distilleries. Yeah. Um, you know, producing spirit, but yeah, open-closed, open-closed, changing yeah. hands. Yeah. Uh, but now it's owned by Brown Foreman. Mm-hmm. And just had a relaunch and a repackage. I mean, you can see that it's classy. I really like that. L- lovely bottle, yeah. And uh, blended by Rachel Barry, who's doing some great stuff. Yeah. So sister distillery of Glendronach yep. and Ben Reich. And I-, I didn't know much about Glenglasser either no. until lockdown. And I was doing some blind tastings with a company online, you know, when everybody went Zoom. Yeah. And we had a couple of non-age statements from Glen Glasser. I think it was called the Evolution and the Torfa. Mm-hmm. And they were amazing whiskies. Right. Uh, and tasting them blind, you didn't know they were a non-age statement. You didn't know they were from Glen Glasser. Mm-hmm. Fantastic whiskies. And they've just relaunched them. So this is a Sinend. They've relaunched a Port Soy. They've launched some age statements. And this just won a prestigious award at the recent World Whiskey Awards. Right. So... And what can you sort of expect then? What's the style? It's very light, it's very fresh, yeah. very fruity. Right. And mainly ex-bourbon. Nice. So you can see the colour on yeah. that. It's got to be an ex-bourbon cask. But they're, they're pushing the fruitiness and the sweetness. Mm-hmm. And slightly maritime characteristics that they have as part of their narrative. Yeah. But I've not tasted it yet. Right, okay. So uh, we'll soon see. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's going to be exciting things to come from Glen Glasser and Glen Dronach and Ben Rea, now that they're in the same, the brown form and stable. Yeah. We should see some more expressions coming out. Yeah. So one to look out for. Definitely Glen Glasser is one to look for in the future. Yeah. Um, and does it have a visitor centre? Uh, yes, it does. Right. Um, so if you're up along the coast, Port yep. Soy, yeah, you could pop in and pop see in. it. And yep. And it's, you know, it's in a beautiful location, the yes. Sanen Bay, which this is named after. It's a beautiful beach. Yeah. If you can just get a bit of sunshine and warmth. <laughs> or else dress up. Or else dress up, up Yeah, exactly. No, brilliant. Okay, thanks, Vic.